Award of Excellence from the website TripAdvisor.com. Here's more with Ryan McDonald. This couple from Australia heard about the Highland Village Museum not online but through word of mouth. But as they meander the 19th century village, half a world away from home, they concur with the website TripAdvisor.com that it's a must-see. It gives a, a great idea of the living conditions that the people had experienced when they came across from, from Scotland to here. The popular travel website has granted the Highland Village its Award of Excellence. The site says it's given, quote, only to establishments that consistently achieve outstanding traveler reviews on TripAdvisor. The timing couldn't be better, just in time for the summer tourist season. It's another, another feather in the bonnet, so to speak, and... Uh, it will open up some new doors for us and uh, encourage people that haven't, that have thought about coming but haven't, maybe they will make the, the move. To make the cut for the TripAdvisor Award, there's virtually no room for error. Visitors rate their experience out of five stars, any rating of three stars or less, and you're out of the running. The Interpretive Village's report card has been nearly perfect. It's gotten 67 TripAdvisor ratings in the past year, most of them five stars with a few fours. The difference, staff say, is the authenticity of the experience. One of the big changes we've made here is we've moved from third person interpretation to first person and what's happened with that is that our staff are actually role-playing. So they're taking on personas and they're being uh, people from Gaelic Nova Scotia in the 18 and 1900s. The Highland Village has won awards before, but Rodney Chesson says what makes this one special is that it's based only on visitor feedback. It's coming from the visitors. It's based on real visitor experience. So it's when people are looking for places to go, uh, that's what you want to seek out. Opening the world's eyes to a living link to the Maritime's past. Ryan McDonald, CTV News, Iona, Nova Scotia. Thank you.